Public displays of election, okay? On Tuesday, what was supposed to be a heavy red flow of Republican victories turned out to be more like a light spotting, all right? At least 28 candidates endorsed by Donald Trump lost bigly in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona, and more. But of course, he was ready for that eventuality. Well, I think if they win, I should get all the credit. And if they lose, I should not be blamed at all. Yeah, what does Donald Trump hate more? Reading our accountability. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, Trump's biggest rival in the GOP, Ron DeSantis, cruised to a 20-point victory in Florida. Is this the beginning of the end for the Teflon Don, or is he going to pull another rabbit out of his comb over? Uh, Ida, <laughs> he's supposed to announce his campaign uh, any second. So, How's that I, call, look? I call him nutso. Remember, um, what's the basketball movie? Oh, Above the Rim. Above the Rim. That's <laughs> nutso for sure. Um, I think that... So, Trump is the president of his circus, right? Yeah. He has his own little clique. And they, I, I don't have a joke for this because this is serious. Our democracy has really been... Neil got one, though. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but I just feel like he has his... Those people don't think he lost. Yeah. Am I right? They think he's president. He's not, he doesn't need to be president of the United States. He's mm. the president of all the dummies. Mm. Yeah, my hope is... Yeah, yeah, my, my hope is what the results from Tuesday show is that we're ready to move on from Donald Trump, right? Okay. So in 2020, we had to... You know, we, we, we had the big lie, which led to the insurrection. Um, tens of millions of people still believe that it is a big lie, and he is the legitimate president. But what the results show is the American people have moved on. And this is not just in spite of him. It's in spite of the media propaganda that continued to push a Republican narrative around him, yes. around crime, the big lie, etc. But the American people came out and voted for candidates who were running against his endorsed candidates. And we, we won big on Tuesday Still, we're still hoping to maintain the House and grow the Senate, so we'll see what happens with that. Neil, um, you know, Ron DeSantis is looking strong. He's like Trump, but with a functioning bladder, right? Uh -huh. So is he going to take the party away from him, or is he just going to split the GOP vote? What do you think? I don't know if DeSantis can win election in America. You know where he can win election? Lego land. <laughs> can we see a picture of him very quickly? <laughs> Very, very <laughs> he's accurate. Like, he's a Lego. He's got Lego face. Very accurate. <laughs> uh, I don't... Tr I think you got to go through Trump. I you think, know? like, I really still believe it. Mm -hmm. I still believe he has, like you were saying, like, the his crazy circus. It's, like, almost half the country. Yes. Yeah. So they got to... On the Republican side, to me, he's, like, the head of the label. Mm -hmm. Like... You know, you got to go through, you want to be signed to death row, you got to talk to Shook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jamal, we know in 2024 it's going to be DeSantis and Trump, but I think what should scare people is that the Democrats don't got nobody. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I disagree with that. Who you, who you, uh, think, think, who you think the Democrats so got? I think we have a long bench, right? So we have Elizabeth Warren, who's a possibility. Come on. We have Governor Whitmer in Michigan, who's a possibility. We have Jamal Bowman, who's a possibility. Oh, okay. We have Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, the rest of the squad. Will she be old enough by then? She'll be old enough. Here's the other thing. The largest growing voting You think block... America's ready to vote for somebody that's Absolutely. progressive like that? Absolutely. Hey, women Absolutely. can't even get yes. abortions. How they gonna be president? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> the largest the largest growing voting block in the country are millennials and Gen Z. Okay. That's that's her base, that's her generation. She can absolutely get it done. And again, Jamal Bowman might be on the ballot in 2024. Who knows, right? Good. It's, about, good. it's about shifting the consciousness of America and painting a vision of what's possible. No one on the Republican side can do that, and no traditional Democrats are doing that, like our younger, more progressive base in the House. I mean, it's respectfully, I ain't hit nobody that can beat DeSantis and Trump. Mm -hmm. I, think I disagree. The, I feel like Newsom could. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's, mm -hmm. he's kind of like a Chris mm -hmm. in terms of cute whites. <laughs> <laughs> but, Jamal, I do want to know, why are Democrats, like, celebrating that there was no red wave, especially if the House and the Senate are still up for grabs? Yeah, that's so... That's not a win if the GOP gets the House and the Senate. Yeah, so a red wave is, like, 20, 30, 40, 50 seats, which okay. usually happens during the midterm. They may get two, three, or four seats. That's not a win. That means they still have to work with us to get things done in the House, especially when you have a Democratic president. So it's still up in the air. There was a red wave in New York State, though, mm -hmm. which is very problematic because this is a Democratic state. Yeah, two and it's seats because, flipped, right, in New York? No, like four or four? five okay. seats flipped. And it's because Democrats continue to out-Republican the Republican, and that's the problem. Break we, that down. What's that mean? So, you know, we take their narrative on crime, for example, and try to tell it 
in a better way, where we should be, again, shifting the consciousness of focusing on poverty, focusing on mental health, focusing on substance abuse, focusing on the issues that we know lead to crime in the first place, and focusing on rehabilitation. Democrats have failed at that, and we failed, to your point, of, of connecting to the grassroots mm -hmm. and connecting with real people in the hood who've been disengaged. Mm -hmm. We have to do a better job of targeting them and bringing them into the process. Right.